All right, so this is a nice big one. We have some uh, nice big numbers here that uh, we're going to go and solve by completing the square. So again, we want to solve this um, by using our, not completing the square, but using the quadratic formula. So we want to find the values of x that are going to make this equation true. And rather than factoring or completing the square, we can always apply the quadratic formula, which goes like this. So to do that, though, we have to make sure we know what our a, b, and c are. So I go make sure that my equation's in standard form, and then I just label a, b, and c. So a equals negative 4, b equals 20, and c equals negative 25. Then the next thing I need to do is determine what the discriminant is. And the discriminant is a part of our quadratic formula. So it's, not, um, it's helpful for us to describe our solutions, but it's also helping us solve the quadratic equation. So I take b squared minus 4 times a times c. So my, now I'm just going to plug in my value. So I say b is 20. So 20 squared minus 4 times a, which is negative 4, times negative 25, which is going to be negative 25. I don't know what I was talking about with that. So I have negative 25. Now I just need to complete this. So I have 20 squared. Well, that's going to be 400. And then uh, my, negative 4 times negative 4 is a positive 16. Positive 16 times a negative 25 is going to be a negative 400. Therefore, we're going to have a discriminant value of 0. Now, when we have a discriminant value of 0, we're going to have one real solution, one real rational solution. So now, let's go ahead and plug in the rest of the values into the quadratic format, and you'll see why we're going to have one real solution. So let's plug in the rest of the values. So therefore, I have negative b, or opposite of b. So that's going to be negative 20 plus or minus the square root of 0 divided by 2 times 20. All right. Well, the square root of 0 is going to be 0. And plus or minus, there is no positive or negative value of 0. So we're just going to have the value 0. So therefore, usually when you take the square root of number, right, we're including the positive and the negative. But 0 doesn't have a positive or negative value. So therefore, it's just 0. So negative 20 plus or minus 0 is just going to be negative 20. And then 2 over 20 is going to be 40. Therefore, now I can reduce this down to negative one half. And there you go. That's our one real rational zero or solution or x-intercept for this equation. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Hope that helped. Thanks.